I'm making this video about why niggas hasn't ended white supremacy in 400 years. Just like how niggas was uh, benefiting on a plantation in the caste system, you had the house niggas benefiting, the field niggas had their benefits. Just like today, the average American Negro uh, after the civil rights movement has a job working for the white man. The average American black woman benefits from American government by way of housing, welfare, jobs, guarantees, child support. They're living lavishly under this society, under this white supremacist system. Just like the bed winches live lavishly on the plantation. They had access to the house, the best clothes, the best food, the master. And the average American black man has a job either being a janitor or in corporate America. He gets his living. He gets his pay. His livelihood is dependent on the white man. So why would they end a system like this? They can't even imagine life without being dependent on a white man. It's like a lot of these niggas on the plantation didn't think it was possible to have a life without the plantation, without the master, without the God, because most of these blacks worship white people as God. They worship a white man called Jesus. The black women worships a white man. You know, the black man worships a white man. And they see the white man as the one who's key to their salvation, provides for their sustenance. But I'm going to tell you this. If you are a man, a so-called American Negro, you are not a man if you don't have your own business, if you don't provide your own sustenance, if you can't do anything for yourself. You fear failure. You fear not being able to provide for your families because you can't see life without having a job working for the white man. You are the police officers, the judges, the clerks, the janitors, even the architects. You are deeply ingrained in this society, in this system, and you have no interest in putting an end to it. Just like the pimp, Tariq Nasheed, who taking people to court he is very interested in keeping white supremacy going because it provided him a lavish lifestyle. Even though he's a house Negro who has to exploit the other blacks, he benefits more than most. So the average American Negro, man and woman, is totally ingrained into this society, into white supremacy. They can't even imagine being free, independent, providing their own food, clothing, and shelter manufacturing their own food uh, products, hair products, clothing, shoes, cars, televisions. You can't even imagine fathom doing that without the Chinese, without the Mexicans, without the white man. You can't even imagine fixing your house up, doing your carpentry work, your plumbing without a white man, without a Mexican. You don't even think it's possible that you can do this for yourself. You can have your own government, your own flag, your own uh, defense mechanism, your own army, military, research and development, scientific technology without the Caucasian man. He is essential in your mind. The average nigga, nigga can't even imagine how I make it because I don't depend on the white man. I have my own business. I have my own uh, corporation. LLC I have my own product my own books and a lot of niggas don't honor and respect it because they say you got to get you a real job and a real job is working for the white man being his slave his boy his lackey and then they end up in these prisons another thing a lot of blacks not even just the blacks a lot of people we set our wants so low and so shallow that when we attain these wants, we are satisfied. And a lot of times our wants are is, uh, limited to mundane physical acquisition and fashion, clothes, shoes, a job, a dinner, a hairdo, nails. And once you get these things, life has been satisfied for you. 
And you're going to get these things every week until the end of your life. Buying the same Jordans, buying the same pair of pants, the same hairdo, the same nails, paying the same rent until you die, until you retire. You have no higher aspirations, but you can adjust your aspirations, your wants and desires. It's something greater. Like I just said, being independent, have your own nation, your own responsibilities, your own society, your own corporations, your own government that is beneficial, that is not terrorism. You desire that, you want that, and you will get that. Everything else is secondary. It won't matter with the clothes, the shoes, the hairdos, the nails. You won't be satisfied being a slave, getting minimum wage in white society. You want your own. You want to control your own land, your own resources. You want your own military. You want your children to be in charge, in power, honored, respected. But you don't want these things. All you want is a pair of Nikes, a pair of Adidas, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. You want to... uh. You want to look lavishly. You want to appear like you're successful. You want to look successful. But an old man told me, the outside surface pleases thee, but inside they're like hollow trees.